No, you go ahead, Paul. And no, I'll speak I was just saying. Finish. I was just saying about this. There's, there's, now there's another deal. Actually, there's a couple other developments in this. Um, I forgot the guy's name, but apparently, and I got I got to shout out this gentleman to uh, one of our people on our page, Prince uh, Atunji. Okay, he had mm-hmm. um, said that it wouldn't be a surprise if Second Mile, the Second Mile organization, the foundation. Uh, uh, you know, founded by uh, Jerry Sandusky, yeah. was actually some type of society, yeah, exactly, was some type of society in which pedophiles actually, you know, were, were part of. I say it again, yuck. <laughs> I yeah. just, uh, I just posted the story in the di- from the Daily yeah. News today that mm-hmm. uh, one of Sandusky's acquaintances, friends, yeah. um, Philadelphia businessman Eric. Edward Savitz, he was an associate right. of Sandusky. He repeated, repeatedly raped and molested mm-hmm. Greg Bussarioni, who grew up in right. uh, who grew up in that area. And before the young that that man, he's he's the same age I am. He's in his forties. Mm-hmm. Um, before he could uh. He he was going to be delivered to Sandusky. They, his 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 stepfather. He didn't say anything bad about his stepfather, but his step he was you know a troubled kid. His stepfather was going to put him in the in the second mile program, and the guy Savitz he mm-hmm. he was going to bring him because he, he used to, he funded he also funded. Um, Second Mile. He's a businessman. He he funded a lot of political people in in uh, in the Pennsylvania area. So what Tunji said two weeks ago, I kind of mm-hmm. have to agree with. You know, they 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 might have there might have been a ring of these guys. Right. And the story is in the chat room. For those of you who are in the chat room, read the story. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it just. It just paints Penn State in a bad pitch, bad light. Joe Paterno had the opportunity to stop all of this because him being the Cesar King of Penn State, mm-hmm. he did nothing. No, he nothing. They, they, they he actually. Wanted, he wanted to win. <laughs> That's it. The kid okay. be dead. He, he wanted he, to win. This <laughs> is how bad it gets with Penn State. They made Jerry Sandusky emeritus. They gave him a hundred and sixty almost a hundred and seventy thousand dollars in payment he re- he was receiving in retirement money over seventy eight thousand dollars a year yeah. and there are emails that state they didn't wanna put him in disgrace and they didn't want to put the program which they call they call in they call Penn State the great experiment they didn't want to put any of that in jeopardy. Now, how does it look 2012? Right. I'm I'm in agreement with uh with Cyclonus. I wouldn't I wouldn't ban them forever, but 10 years would 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 hurt them severely. They they Definitely. they should receive what SMU received. And also in light of that, the NCAA needs to step in. You stepped in for Michigan with the Fab 5. You you erased all their records from the record book. You took you took Reggie Bush's Heisman Trophy. OJ Simpson had his Heisman Trophy removed. You are not go, looking let's, you're not looking at the big picture. The Fab Five, OJ Simpson and Reggie Bush are thugs. Sandusky had a lack of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> also also they gave SMU the death penalty. They chased down UNLV. Right. Um, there, there's other schools who received uh, penalties for having misconduct and, and situations where where people who are in the athletic community did crimes. Um, they got to go. Yeah. Got to go. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's sickening because just like I said earlier, in regards to the death penalty, I was talking about more than a year because I'm, the, the crimes are so heinous. 
I mean, you know, we're, we're talking about just disgusting, as Cyclonus put it, yuck. You know what I mean? It's just so disgusting. And this this type of abuse, it could be tr- possibly traced back all the way to the 70s, folks. Yeah. The 70s. Read, read the article I posted. Um, yeah, man. We got to, they need to do an investigation that goes back to when he stepped on that campus in 1969. Look at that. We're talking five, four or five decades of, of this. Of yuckness. Deviant, yeah, exactly. Deviant behavior by this man. And the fact that this, you color Hello? this up. So, am I right? Oh. Yeah. The fact yeah. that, that it's been covered up for, for decades. By this university, it's absolutely disgusting. Well, such is life. Yep. But we. But in, but in the words of Sandusky supporters, little Jimmy wanted it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> right. But they, that's how they put it. <laughs> right. You know, and let me just chime on something else in regards to that second mile organization because we have gone over this. Uh, a few times before, and and we we talked about how it was for for kids at risk, you know, who would be obviously the perfect victims for 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 pedophiles, you know, because who's gonna believe these kids? You know, obviously they they grew up with with problems, whatever. Who's gonna really believe them? Mm-hmm. You know, that's the quagmire we in. For years, some yeah. of them probably spoke out, but this, oh, this, yeah. little, this sure. little white trash, this little ghetto kid, and they trying to bring down right. a great man. <laughs> right, this town that they were. Right. Well, as we, you know? we spoke, as we spoke last week, the, mm-hmm. some of the janitors knew before. Um, what's what's the, uh, the assistant before McQuarrie found him in the showers? Janitors found him like two years before. In the showers, he's always bringing kids to the showers and taking them on trips. So, well, not to defend the janitors because they still should have spoke out, but they had no power. If they spoke out, they just would have lost their job. Yeah, so that's yeah they didn't want to go up against the system right. and lose their job. It's the people in right. power that knew. They the they yeah. the true villains. 